Hello my friends, I'm so excited to be here today. Welcome to my channel and we're going to do some crafting today. Uh, what I have is um, some things I'm going to use right here. I'll show you in just a second. This is uh, a video for hashtag stash to treasure, which is an open collab hosted by Maria of Maria's Miscellany and myself. And uh, what we do is try to take an item from our stash, maybe something we don't use very much or haven't used in a while, uh, something like that, you know, or something, you know, just we have an idea for. So we have prompts for every month, which that this will all be, all these in, all this information will be in my description box under this, this video. But the prompt for this month is October metal findings charms beads and bling so i have been working with those a lot in the last uh two or three months so i wanted to do i just had this idea and i wanted to do something different so you can if you want to participate you can do whatever you want but the we do have the prompts in case you need an idea of maybe what to to uh, look for in your stash to do something with and you can look at the other prompts too which we have for the full uh, the whole year um, I don't know if I still have the whole year on there, but I'll have, you know, more than October down below and you can look. So just, you know, use the hashtag in your stash to treasure in your title. Subscribe to Maria and I's channels and just if you participate, let other people know how to participate. And we appreciate it. We, we uh, enjoy seeing everyone's ideas. So this kind of like just hit me uh, as I was, uh, you know, I knew I had to do this video and... I had a couple ideas kind of rolling around, you know, and uh, I was looking for some playing cards in, in my, I have a little drawer here in my craft room with all my playing cards, or most of them in there, and I uh, ran across these cards. This is from an old ma uh, old maid card game, and it's a, it was a, it's a pretty old, uh, vintage -y, real vintage-y, uh, does it have a year on here? No, it doesn't have one, but it's a good, you know, old, it has some age on it. Um, and I love the color too, this pink color, but it was just, it's just the rules for the old maid game. And what do you do with the rule, rule card, right? And then I found another one. This is from, this might be from old maid too, another old maid game I have. So that's that one. And then this is from a snap game, card game. These are all card games, of course. It says rules. Does this one say rules on it? No, this one just has uh, an advertisement for like all the other games they make there. This one is uh, rules for the snap game. So, I don't know, something just hit me that said make these into button cards. <laughs> so I'm making button cards out of these rule uh, cards for the uh, from the little card games. So I also recently picked up uh, these a uh, little box of they're called labels and you know little uh, pieces papery pieces that you can use in collaging and uh, in your junk journals and things to make little uh, writing spots and things like that anyway this is one of them it says pink pearl there's a little pink pearl right there and it has a blank spot right here I just thought these were so pretty and they look very vintagey also and I put one on here and it looks so perfect and it just covered up like this little bit of area right here. So I can either glue these down or actually these are stickers. Let me see if I can peel the back off. And see, we'll see how sticky they are. See if we need any more glue. But, uh, you know, if you don't, if you have something like this and you peel this back off and you feel like it's too, this is not acetate or anything. I feel like it's thick enough, but if you didn't feel like it was thick enough, you could leave the back on there. And just glue it down but I'm going to glue this down right in the middle of this card and leave this here because I just think it looks so pretty it could go on this side too actually but I kind of really want to put it over here let's see now I'm now I'm rethinking it <laughs> no I think I want to put it over here maybe we'll do another one I just like this light pink color on this side and it goes so well with the colors in this little piece of ephemera sticker so there's one and I, so I pulled out three of those. I happen to have three. I don't know if I have any more, but I happen to have three. So uh, here's another one. Now this one has, let's see, it would look like this on this side. 
and look like this on this side. Maybe this one we'll put over here. Okay, that that's fine, no problem. I figured uh, I could use these for tuck spots, drilling spots, whatever. But they're going to be button cards. So if say I put the button on one side, and you want to write on the other side, if I just put it in as a drilling card, then somebody could put something paper that you could write on over here. Or I can do that if I want to at the time I go to use it in a journal, right? So this is another one. This one has, oh, it has the little bear over here. Rules over here. Oh, that's actually, oh, this, you know what? This is almost like purple. When you put it on here, it really looks purple. I kind of wanted to leave the bear, but it looks, oh, this is purple too. Okay, it has purple print here. So maybe I will leave it like that. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So we used the actual sticker part on all three of these. Let's see if I can get this off of here. Third one. And then I'm going to show you how we're going to put our buttons down. <clears throat> so I have made buttons cards before, and I made them actually, if you want to do a different way of making button cards, you can just use a piece of, I would use a piece of cardstock, scrap of paper, and cut it up into like, three by four journaling card size and then you can sew buttons on or glue buttons on. I sewed buttons on and they're actually the little cut aparts from me. <clears throat> they were really cute. It may have a couple left, but they were the little cut aparts from a paper pad, from a scrapbook paper pad. And they were cardstock, so nice and sturdy. There we go. We've got that purple print in the background. It looks really pretty. So let's get rid of these over to the side here. So next I want to put some thread through my button. So I've got a little bird button that I'm going to put here. Another little bird button to put here. I didn't want to do all birds. I kind of was almost going to do all birds, but let me I said let me try another just these round decorated round buttons that I have. Blue one and a green one here. So I put and they fit on here. So I'm just going to randomly pick out some uh, embroidery floss. I had this is all the embroidery floss I had before I did a little demonstration for a company and they said I could pick out some something and or some things and one of the things I picked out was a huge bag of uh, embroidery floss because I knew that's all I had and I thought when I use it once in a while for things like this I mean you don't use very much it, it's gonna last me forever but um, it, I picked out a big bag, but I still am using this bag. I'm kind of like trying to use this one up. <laughs> to, but I have used some if I need the color for the big bag I got. Okay, so somebody gave me a tip. Let me grab something behind me here. Let me grab something. I just thought about this. Okay, so somebody gave me a tip on threading. Like say, you know how this is... See how, you know, the threads open up and it's kind of like a, almost, it's not frayed, but the threads are just opening up and you have to wet it or something or cut it off and start over. So, um, I just read this today and I didn't clarify. I was going to clarify, but she said, roll your, um, roll your embroidery floss like this or whatever. If you have a thread, like another type of thread, maybe some kind of jute twine even maybe it'll work on, but roll it in some glue. Okay, so it's like almost like you wet it, but you're using glue, so you're not using, you know, water <laughs> or anything like that. So this is working. This is working as far as holding the threads together. Okay, so we we I just you just saw what I did, right? I just kind of did this through this purple glue here. It's not like you need it to be permanent or anything, because you're just doing this so you can thread easier. So let's put each end through and see how this does. See, it just goes right through like a needle. That is cool. Wow, that's really, really great. Thank you to the person who gave me that tip. It turns out I needed it for this video again because I was putting buttons on something earlier this week. <laughs> so and this, I, this is a little wide. It has the glue on there, but I need to roll it. 
so it's a little thinner, okay? So I'm just rolling it a little bit to make it a little thinner because it was kind of flat, so it was making it too wide for the hole. There it is, okay, that went through. Okay, so this is just a little piece of pink that was in that little baggie that I have there, uh, pink. So we'll put this on this one. And uh, when I do these buttons, I said the other day, if you didn't see that video, that I just kind of try to be random about the thread I pick out because it's really pretty if you have a button and then you just have a bright colored, I think it is anyway, a uh, piece of uh, string of some kind. I mean, you could use, uh, I have some, I don't know how it look, I haven't used it. This is a little thicker. You know, the embroidery floss, you have all the threads, so it kind of shows up really good. You know, the color of whatever the thread is. So that one's going to go there. Okay, let's do this one. All right, let's do a yellow on this one. See, oh, this bird has yellow in it. I didn't really look to try to match it, though. I just wanted to use this yellow so pretty. I wanted to use some of it, but it's actually going to kind of match this little bird. But these are wooden wooden buttons. So let's get a good size piece here and do that again with the blue. <laughs> I just got some new glue sticks because I've, it's, you know, if you use glue sticks, you know, if you're doing something that is, um, you know, multiple type things, you can really go through some glue sticks. I'm almost wondering, I was almost wondering, are they putting less in there? Because <laughs> I'm just going through glue sticks like there's no tomorrow. But it's, um, I'm using them for gluing book pages together to use up, try to use up the couple stacks of book pages I have. And, and I used up, I think I have a few more, but uh, I'm, I got a little piece of something, like wood or something in my, in my, uh, let me get my pokey tool here. I got a little piece of something in the hole here with this button. I need to poke out. But yeah, so I didn't want to run out since I'm doing the book page. I want to keep keep going on that. And so when I ordered my groceries this past weekend, last weekend, I ordered, ordered glue sticks. And they had a good price. Like, you know, I don't know if they ha would have had what I ordered in it. I mean, it's, it says I have to pick a store, like, so it says, I mean, it seems like it's coming from the store, but I really wonder if it's coming from a, a warehouse nearby <laughs> and not exactly really like the store, you know what I mean? So, anyway, I got, I got everything I ordered, so that's all that matters, right? Yeah, I'm trying Walmart grocery delivery because it's just saving me so much time. I didn't roll that one. Yeah, this really works if you want to, if you're doing it, something like this, and you want to try it. Just, just drag it through the glue or roll it over. She said roll it. I'm just kind of dragging it. And then I'm making sure it's rolled and not flat so it'll fit through the hole. And it just goes right through like a needle because it straightens it out, straightens it out and keeps all the threads together. So... That's my son's dog outside, if you can hear it barking. <laughs> my son's dog is outside. He has, um, he's got two dogs, Jazzy, the Husky that you've seen on video before. She's appeared in a couple of my videos. And he's got the new puppy, which is a Corgi. Jazzy doesn't bark, I don't, uh, you know, my other son has a, dog, a, a Husky too, and what I'm told is Huskies don't bark. They, if they ever make any noise, it's like they talk. You know what I mean? If you have a husky, you know what I'm talking about. Or they howl. They howl or they kind of like do this talking thing. But um, <laughs> but the corgi is a different story. It's a little dog and she is a little girl and she likes to bark at whatever she can bark at. So, but uh, that's okay. <laughs> I really don't mind it. Well... And she, she's quiet at night, so if, I, if she's outside at night, I don't hear anything. I mean, I don't. She doesn't bark at night. Like, she goes to sleep at night, so. 
All right, so that one's ready, that one's ready. Let's put two strings in here. And I'm gonna randomly pick out a color. Um, that, let's do, uh, well, I say I'm gonna randomly pick out a color. Am I going to randomly? Do I have any pink left? Oh, I have enough pink, I might as well use this up. That would be great to get rid of a scrap of, of embroidery floss. So let's do that. Somebody's wee wee wagging too. It might be my son. <laughs> He's just making all the noises today. <laughs> this is Sunday when I'm doing this video. So it's the weekend when you got to get all that stuff done, right? Before you have to go be at work all day, every day. And it's the, it's a nice day too. It's a, well, it was really cool this morning. Like the weather, the temperature. And I don't think it was getting too hot today. I haven't been outside in the last hour. I was outside earlier, like first thing this morning. And like, like I said, it was really cool. I was like, oh, I'm glad I have a long sleeve shirt on. <laughs> and then I need to go out and get some stuff done. So I want to do this video and then I'm going to go out. And I'm actually, I put up my Halloween, uh, little Halloween. Well, no, it's not Halloween. It's actually fall decoration I have from my front door, you know, I hang on my front door. And I got only, I have like breakable Halloween stuff. But I didn't get any of that out because, you know, I have a two-year-old granddaughter that comes around <laughs> a lot, once a, once a week at least. So, um, so I didn't get any of the breakable stuff out. Am I making a tangle here? Uh, but I got the, I have some big plastic, I have a big plastic pumpkin and some vintage pumpin, pumpkins that actually, you know, I kind of grew up with that my mom gave me uh, quite a few years ago now. I've had... I've been the keeper of the pumpkins from our <laughs> childhood in the last, uh, pro I probably had them for the last, I don't know, 20 years. So she gave them to me uh, when she wasn't going to use them anymore. And uh, I was grown up and had a house and all that. So um, anyway, I got those out, two of those. They used to have a light in the back of them. You can probably picture one has a pointy hat. The other one just is a pumpkin head. The other one's a pumpkin head, and it has a pointy hat. So you've probably seen them. They're vintage. And then I have the big round orange one now that, I don't know if they sell them anymore, but I think the one I have is vintage. I got it at a flea market. So uh, I don't have any more pink, so I'm gonna do yellow on the other one. So they'll have two different colors of string. But anyway, I got those out thinking, oh, they're not breakable. <laughs> <laughs> they're not breakable you know we never played with them when I was a kid like we never played with them we just my mom put them out wherever and there they were they were decorations I don't think we ever thought of playing with them but my granddaughter she doesn't well she's only two so she doesn't really have boundary too many boundaries yet unless we say no <laughs> and so I thought okay well it'll be alright she can play with my plastic pumpkins but then she started dragging them around and we have, you know, we live out in the country so we have some rough areas, <laughs> you know, around the house here. And as far as, um, you know, I have a concrete and brick sidewalk out front, you know, and stuff like that. Just some other rough areas. And so I was like, hmm, I don't know about this. I'm trying to see if I need to cut this before I put the glue on. I guess not. I'll put glue on this side. But anyway, after yesterday, I let her play with them yesterday. Uh, the big one, she dragged out to the end of the sidewalk and started putting stuff inside of it. Like she found some rocks and some leaves and she was putting all this stuff in dirt. Whatever she could pick up was going, there's a hole in the back. So she, you know, where you put a can, no, you can't put a candle in there. But anyway, there's a hole, it's hollow, you know, hollow and you can put, um, there's a hole in the back. So she's putting stuff in there. I'm like, mm, I don't know about this because I saw that pumpkin I, I um, got it quite, a, well, about a few, few years ago, three or four years ago now. And I didn't, I thought it was expensive when I bought it, but I really wanted it and it was, it was $20. I don't know how much they were new. They might have been $20 or more when they were new in the store. They, I have no idea. I don't remember. But um, I saw one at the flea market this year and it was $49. <laughs> so I was like, wow. 
I guess I got a deal when I got it for twenty dollars. <laughs> so uh, anyway, she's doing my supposedly supposedly worth forty nine dollars now. Maybe if somebody wants to pay that, uh, you know, dragging it around, probably like scratching it up and stuff. And I'm kind of like, I don't want, you know. So anyway, a uh, long story is uh, I put I'm putting away my pumpkins today. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till next year, so maybe she doesn't want to, you know, because I I don't want her to. She, she's a little, I don't know, drama, if she, I don't know if she's a drama queen or it's just a two-year-old thing, but my, I don't remember my boys get, my boys never threw tantrums or anything, and she's not throwing a tantrum at all. It's just that when you tell her no, like a stern no, like that, she, you know, because like yesterday she was going to touch something that was, that was a, a leaf that was prickly, and I was like, no, no, you know, because I didn't want her to get hurt, and she just fell apart. <laughs> Like, so sad that I said no. And so she wasn't throwing a tantrum. She just got so, so sad and cried. And I was like, oh, I didn't, you know, didn't mean to upset her. I just didn't want her to get hurt. <laughs> so I had to give her hugs and rock her on the swing for a minute. She was so upset that I told her no. But she hear, you know, it's not like she's never heard no before. But it's just, she wasn't like that at first, like six months ago now that she's she's almost three now that she's almost three she's got like all all so sad that somebody said no to her but it, the stern no you know if you just say no or you know so what I'm trying to do is like it, w without saying no if it's not something that where she's going to get hurt and I have to really get her attention I'm trying to just kind of divert her attention to another thing but meanwhile, I don't want my pumpkins to get ruined, and uh, I don't want to have to deal with, like, telling her she can't play with my pumpkins, so I'm just going to put them away for this year, and I'll try again next year. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because she, um, she's, she's not rough, she just doesn't, well, I don't know. She likes, to, she seems like she likes to take things apart, but then she can't put them back together, she's not, oh, you know. She's only two, so she doesn't, I mean, it, she might try to put it back together, but she's not quite at that stage where she can put it back together as far as, like, something, like, that's not supposed to be taken apart. Like, yesterday, she took a chip clip apart, and that how about, probably can be put together, back together. It'd be probably a little bit tricky for me to put back together, but she sure, you know, for sure couldn't put it, put it back together. So you saw what I did there. We're, we're done <laughs> while I was talking, but, um... We glued down our little stickers, or just stuck them down. We didn't put an extra glue on there. We put the thread through, and then we just I just put Fabri-Tac on the back of the buttons and glued them down. So now I've got, I got to use, you know, I mean, maybe you, you have some of these and you don't want to know what to do with them, or maybe, you know, you've even thrown them away in the past, like you used all the cards, and now you're left with, you know, what do you do with it? You can make a button card. Or you can make a journaling card out of it. Of course, you can put something all over the back and have paper there and sew on it and decorate it. But anyway, here's my idea to make some button cards out of these little rule cards from from vintage uh, game cards. You can see how brown that is. But isn't it cute? I think it's. I think they're adorable. And now I can use them as a little tuck spot, glue them on the corner of a page, or just stick them in a pocket or a belly band wherever, you know, clip them on a page, and they're little, little, um, little button cards. I just need to, I need to, these two look like I need to press them down and make sure they're flat. These two look nice and flat, though, and with Fabri-Tac, they're going to be, um, they're going to be sturdy, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed that idea. And go make some button cards out of all your instruction cards or any other cards you may, might have laying around that you don't know what to do with. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you don't have the little stickers, just use a little piece of a scrapbook paper that you think is pretty and cut out a little piece like that. And then put the button on top of it. Something like that. So, yep, there's a where there's a will, there's a way, right? So, thank you, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to check out, by the way, Maria's video and she always has great awesome ideas and um if you search for the hashtag um, hashtag stash to treasure 
you will find videos in all of our videos from the year so far. We've been doing this for the whole year of 2023 and you can get, you know, lots of great ideas for using things that maybe uh, you haven't used in a while. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.